Stephen, it was there for the taking. I mean, I mentioned it up seven mm -hmm. in the final minute, just couldn't close the deal. What happened? Well, there were a lot of miscues, and the, the main one is that you've got Rafael Davis and you've got John Octius at the free throw line, and they have opportunities in the end of regulation. And this one right here, A.J. Hammonds backs away. The leading shot blocker in the Big Ten is along the baseline on that drive. He backs out of there, doesn't challenge the shot. Octius misses free throws here. He was one of three, and one of those misses was a front end of a one and one. Rayfield Davis in overtime has two shots. He misses both of those. And so the margin of victory is very small and, and, and slim in the NCAA tournament. We saw Purdue throughout the Big Ten Conference do a good job down the stretch in closing out wins, but they just didn't get it done today. And I think Painter tried to put in perspective there. I mean, a very surprising season for a team that finished last in the Big Ten last year. You should have everyone back, I mean, other than Octius. Everyone returning significant yeah. on this team, but still, it's disappointing. I mean, I know he's they trying obviously... to, he's trying to spin it forward, Dave, because you, you have that kind of lead and you don't close out. If you have a bunch of freshmen on the floor, that's one thing. But they had veterans in veteran positions that just didn't make plays. I hear you, and obviously, they would have loved to have gotten a shot Heck yeah. at Kentucky. They don't get that opportunity. The Bearcats will move on. They will face the Wildcats, who shockingly beat Hampton. 79 to 56 <laughs> the final there the Wildcats are now 35 and 0